and this is a 6 vs 6 in-house match post-tournament in uh, Straw Battle X. Uh, we have the incredible team, including Lucky Devil as the captain, who is this, it seems like it's pretty much his first time captaining, um, against Curtis, who was captaining the last game and is seeking redemption after he was the victim of the perfect warp trick. And so, now the only hope is that the map will actually load. Meanwhile, I'm going to hack up a storm while the, the mic is muted. Oh, oh, th there's hope! There's hope! The bar is moving. I am, I'm in anticipation. Nothing makes you feel more alive than the sight of the progress bar moving slowly forward. Or coming to a dead stop after moving slightly forward. The bar is completely full. Alright, so for the red team. In the bottom left, we have Curtis's team this time. Last time he was in the top right. Uh, I'm trying to read what the sideline should be. I guess it's going to be a sideline overlord with Plague. LSD going, uh, Curtis the captain, going sideline uh, overlord with Plague. LSD going range missile. Fast forward in the center with a 4-3 Colossus. Wolf Eyes going uh, Raven M. But Harris going 5 rockets and Loco going Plague. In the top right, we have OG Kush going 5 gats. Lucky Devil going Range Missile, Moby Dick going uh, uh, Plague, he is of course also known as Kraken, but don't, don't, don't tell that to the NA players. Um, Black Magic going M, Lag going Lag, we had just a little bit of lag there. Uh, Stellar Six going Range Spores, and then down here we have a uh, Sarah going Mutation Leviathan. So the blue team is getting pushed back just a little bit here, but they, they, I mean, there are, it's two O's, so you don't, you don't want to get pushed back against two O's, but the Colossus in the center can be quite strong, and I guess OG, I think OG really wants to be dealing some damage to this Overlord right now, but he's nervous because the mid is User pushed in so far. Channel. Who's that? Nexer. Oh, should I, uh, here, let me, uh. Channel switched. Can I do this? User joined your channel. There we go. Hey, what's up, man? I realized hey, I, what's up? I actually couldn't can hear you. Can you actually hear me? Yeah, uh, in, in AFK channel, no one can actually hear you because it's muted. It's a it's a muted channel. <laughs> okay. Are you uh, in the OBS here? Yeah, I am. I'm just gonna tab back in. Yeah, why, why aren't you playing, man? What, 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 what's up with that? Were you playing? You weren't playing last game either, right? I was. I, I was the Raven. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, I was doing a good job. I don't know what happened with the Destro. He just like went in there. Yeah, he cut and then uh, got cut off. Yeah, the too. the captain didn't even call. He just like went in there. What the hell? <laughs> anyway. What's funny is that I like did basically the same thing, but I happened to not die, whereas whereas your cap whereas your captain did. Uh, so that's that's always fun. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean because of the comp we had, we didn't have any push power, right? We had double OVs and a Raven and an R and a Destro who died. Uh, losing the dread was unfortunate, but then you you were the victims of the perfect warp trick. If that's how it was deemed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, that, that, that was really good. Well, the contain is real. Red team is now up to a 300 farm lead. And blue team is all beat up and stuff because of the constant plagues. And so that Colossus... Pretty much, is, it's going <laughs> to take him a while to uh, heal and come back out. Where did the, the oh, are there six ships out here? One, two, three. Oh, they're up four, on farm by a lot. Yeah, this is a little bit more than you usually want. This is not a, 
uh, it's not impossible to recover from this, but um, it's like the, the clutch moment is in the next uh, four minutes because they want to come out and try to get as much form as they can. But red team will be coming out with more speed than them, so they have to time their back very carefully. It can be very, very easy to overextend when you are down this much farm and going out for the first time after the red team backs. Yeah. But they have Loco, so there's always hope. He, he will bring the, the, the heroic plagues of doom. And they won't even know. They won't even know. Oh wait, Loco's on the right. I, I want to see some big side blasts. I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. I guess they liked the G's after last game. <laughs> but Loco's like, no, I don't. I don't want no G's. I'm Loco. I, I don't need a guardian punk. Oh, see now they're now they're taking missiles from the BC, and so they're gonna be. Taking missiles also from from the frigate because his butt hairs is going to get on the raven. <laughs> butt hairs on the raven. I don't know. Sorry. Um, but I think they're going to, because of the timing of the siege creep coming out like this, if they go back now, they should be fine. If they try to hold this cloud, I'm not sure that they're going to be okay. This could get really dicey for them. Nope. Right they're not, just because the levy is kind of hurt and... Ooh, OG is deep. OG is real yes, deep. He is. This kind of looks like last game. This kind of looks like last game. <laughs> and he's getting hit by the siege. Oh yeah, but he has seven armor this time, so he can uh, he can get out of it a little bit easier. I don't know if he had as much armor as last game. Meanwhile, Loco's just over in the side lane, being like, "Don't mind me, guys. I'm just gonna be the side laning overlord, getting all the farm." Uh, I figured the frigate would have uh, more missiles and. Wow, he threw it in farm. Yeah, he picked up some rays and some lasers. I don't know about both rays and lasers, but. Yeah. That's. Yeah, it's only 50 minerals, though. I mean, that would have been like one more rockets. That would be. Oh, he. I mean, I I tend to work towards missiles and shields just so I could like stay there longer. Rates don't really help unless if you're getting the cloaked rates for it, you know. Or if you're dealing with like lots of siege, which you're not. Yeah, or like a carrier, or a five muta overlord, or a, or a five uh, locust leviathan, or maybe later on for broods. I mean, later on, actually, OBS are really important for de dealing with uh, brood lords, but yeah, we but are. Later on, you can are... invest into that stuff because you already have what's important, right? Right, but yeah, that's like we're we're probably a good seven minutes away from that, at least. Maybe ten, twelve. You know, what's what's seller? Seller, seller is still at zero brood lords, so yeah, there's like another ten minutes at least till he's gonna need OBS up to deal with brood lords. Yeah, I like that Lucky has seven uh, missiles. That's gonna put some damage. Yep. And scan. I'm, I'm not sure if uh, Black Magic. I think. Let's check the upgrades. Does Black Magic have radar? Nope. He has Matrix, Imp, and that's it. He does not have radar, so scan is their uh, only anti warp trick detection. But yeah, Brett has held the 300 form lean, but it hasn't grown. It hasn't been snowballing uh, as hard as it could. So blue team is, they're, they're, they're definitely down at the moment uh, in terms of farm, but they're not insurmountably down. They can still come back. Yeah. Oji Kosh has uh, picked up explosive charge and bots. Still no protective field though. LSD does not yet have lockdown, only scan still, so he can, you know, but he, but Curtis has siphon. So it's gonna be hard for Kush to really uh, maintain infinite protective field. 
So long as um, to be honest, I would like to see one of the OVs get moved to mid, you know, and just have more plagues in center, just because they're getting pushed a lot. Your loco, wait, wait, what the hell? Oh, he just side blast. Oh wow, I I didn't notice that shit. I, I'm like over here looking at loco, and suddenly stellar six has died. Oh, yeah, just oh, oh shit. No, oh, it's gonna miss, but. Yeah, OG Kush should lift through here, but I wish this was a replay so I could back up and see what the hell just happened. Was he was plagued and he burned to death going back? I mean, the la last like last I was looking at Loco, I was watching the guard like go back, go back home, and Loco was just kind of chasing him. These plagues are, and then I are real to though. Center, and then Stellar Six just died. What the? Well, GG now. This game lasted a solid five minutes longer than the last one. Yeah. That, that was just, wow. That was definitely what you call a game changer. What Loco just did. You mean the, the epic lure? But I mean, they were already up a ship at that point. Like, they were... They were winning because of the double overlord playing, maintaining... You know, if you push when you have double overlord, then you're probably going to win in the beginning part of the game. Because double overlord is, you know, a, a strong late game composition. If you're winning yeah, the yeah. early game with a late game composition, well, then you pretty much win. Yeah, I totally agree. OG Kush going in for the last. <laughs> He's, he has to attack the mothership to uh, win the game. So, uh, so you better go deal some damage to the to the mothership, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, he shouldn't back out. He should go all the way, just like Alexi. You have to be prepared to go all the way with us. Oh, he's alive for a while, surprisingly. How yeah. much does he have? And he only has like 7 armor. Yeah, it's protective field and I don't think they've been bothering to siphon him. Well, I definitely have to go and go back and watch what Loco did. Yeah. The plagues were real.